Hey everyone, I hope you're doing well. Just want to do a very quick video showcasing some really nice technical and basic tees from Uniqlo. I have a handful of Uniqlo tees that I've been wearing for more than a year and they've held up really great. This particular shirt, it's the Alexander Wang Ares MT collab that they did a while back and it's held up absolutely great. Uh, so I did notice that Uniqlo added some more colors and a couple different cuts of the Ares MT to the website. So I thought I would go ahead and pick some up just because they're such good basics. And I also picked up two Supima cotton tees from there because I wanted to try those out. And then each t-shirt I'm gonna show you guys, I'm gonna give a sizing reference for them because it's a different cut or it might be a different size or anything. Like the Supima cotton tee, I got one in a large, one in medium. Um, and then I'll showcase the different styles of other t-shirts as well. I'm gonna go ahead and talk about what makes Aerism so special. So if you wanna skip that, skip to this time right here to go ahead and get to the t-shirts. And if you wanna see how I style it with some very simple fits, go ahead and skip to this time right here. So by the way, if you guys are into fashion at all, I highly recommend you pick up a tape measure. It just makes buying clothes online so much easier. It just makes buying clothes online a little bit more worry-free because you can measure the clothes based on the size chart to something else you already have in your collection just for a sizing reference. I also sell stuff on Grailed um, and this comes in really handy just to give a potential customer an idea of the size of the garment. I'll go ahead and link a super cheap version of this down in the description below, highly recommend it. So four out of the six shirts I'm gonna be showing you today are the Aerism fabric, which does have a lot of cool technical features in it, such as it's anti-wrinkle, especially after washing. It's antibacterial just to help stop odors. It's cool to the touch, and of course it's quick drying and very breathable as well. A really interesting feature that they have with some of the Uniqlo Aerism tees are that they are UV protectant. So I wanted to look into that a little bit more to see like kind of what that was. And I couldn't find anything super concrete on what they do to Aerism to make it more UV protectant than a normal piece of clothing. But I did find some general information on the internet regarding UV protective clothing and then taking the knowledge from there and then comparing it to what Uniqlo does release, you can kind of theorize on what they do. So basically, darker colors protect you a little bit better than lighter colors. The denser the weave of the fabric, obviously the more protection you're gonna get from the sun, which is pretty intuitive. You know, if you have a fabric that's super tight, it's not gonna let as much sun get through. Treatment and dyes can be added to a fabric to either reflect or absorb UV rays. I suspect this is what Uniqlo does with their Aerism tees because Aerism is a very breathable fabric, so it does let air through, so it's not super dense. They do say on the tag of some of the Aerism tees that UV filtration has been added to the fabric to a rating of UPF 40 plus, which I looked it up and that rating means it blocks 97.5 or greater of the UV rays. Shiny polyesters and satin silk type fabrics do a really good job of reflecting UV rays as well, which I think this plays into Aerism because depending on the t-shirt, it's either 27 to 47% polyester. However, these Aerism shirts don't really have like any shine to it like with a lot of athletic tees. So they're all really subtle and look nice for just everyday wear. Anyways, enough of that. I'm just gonna go in and get into the t-shirts. So the first one I got, this is the Uniqlo U Aerism Oversized Boxy Tee. And this one is definitely the most unique cut of all of these shirts. I was gonna get this back when the Uniqlo U collection initially released, but upon the day of release, there must have been some logistical error because it wasn't available until like a week or two later. So then I just kind of missed out on it. But luckily they are still in stock. The thing I like most about this tee are the elongated sleeves. They come about right up to the elbow. And it does have the dropped shoulders and a much tighter collar than a standard tee. I mean, it's not like too tight where it's uncomfortable, but it is a little bit more snug up. Um, so it does have a very unique silhouette. I think this looks really good with like some techier fits, maybe some pairs of pants that are a little bit wider or a little bit baggier, just to kind of match the oversized proportion of the top. This does come in a lot of different colors, but I opted just for black, just because it is more of a unique cut of tee, so I just wanted to play it safe and go with the subtle black instead of a really bright color. But again, that's just my subjective style opinion. Because this is oversized, I did size down to a size medium. Now just looking at the size of this tee here, the rough measurements, shoulder to shoulder, which I measured from the 
him to the hem. It's 52 centimeters or like 21.5 inches. And then the total length from top to bottom is about 70 centimeters or like, what was that, like 27. 0.5 inches I think and then the shoulder to the end of the sleeve is 26 centimeters or that's like 10 and a half inches I think um, so it's definitely pretty boxy um, however the, the shoulders are like I said earlier the drop shoulders so they are supposed to go off your shoulder so that's why it's so wide in those measurements but again that's a size medium for reference. I did pick up one of the basic Arizm Cotton crew neck short sleeve t-shirts. And this is just a normal cut t-shirt that I picked up in this really nice dark gray. And this dark gray in the Arizm fabric kind of gives off a really cool kind of industrial metallic metal like vibe to it. That's kind of weird to say, but I don't know. It has a more athletic cut to it, but it's not too slim. And they do have normal length sleeves, but a lot of times with my t-shirts, I do like to cuff it two times just to make my t-shirts fit a little bit better. Or maybe subconsciously, I'm trying to make my noodle arms a little bit more buff looking. I don't know. I did get this in a size large and the rough measurements of this are shoulder to shoulder. It's 47 centimeters or like 18.5 inches. Total length from top to bottom is 71 centimeters or like 28 inches. So again, a little bit longer than the boxier cut one. And then the sleeve length unrolled, of course, is about 22 centimeters is like nine inches so right right now it's just kind of wrinkled because it came packaged up all folded up really close so I'm trying to get that out of here so the next two shirts are of the same cut these are the Arizm uv protectant long sleeve and these are an online exclusive so i got one in black just to play it safe can't go wrong with a very basic black tee and i also got this one in dark gray which it almost kind of has like a brown hue to it depending on the lighting in this camera it does look pretty gray um, but in some lighting, it does kind of give off some brown undertones, which I think is really cool. And I think this one might be my favorite tee of this whole like mini haul. But it has a really nice earthy tone to it. It's a very classic fit, but it's not too boxy. Being a basic long sleeve, there's not too many cool features with this, but um, there are like a, a small slit on the sides of the waist. And then, of course, you have a nice cuff and collar as well. I did get both of these in a size large and the rough measurements from shoulder to shoulder are is 47 centimeters which is like 18.5 inches. The total length is 72 inches or 28 inches just like the last tee. And then the sleeves are 58 centimeters which is about 23 inches. These Arizm tees just have like such a great feel. Um, they feel so comfortable and I really really like the texture of it as well. It's not too shiny and soft, kind of like more typical workout gear, but it still remains to be very soft and kind of has a soft, like cool touch to it. But anyways, lastly, I did pick up two Supima cotton basic tees, and I am quite impressed with the feel and quality of these t-shirts. Now, just comparing the Supima cotton to a standard cotton tee from Uniqlo, is the Supima Cotton Tee is noticeably more soft and it almost feels like Arism, it's so smooth. Whereas the other one, it's a little bit more coarse and granted this one is older. But if you're thinking about getting one of the t-shirts, I would just go ahead and opt and pay more for the nicer quality tee. So anyways, I did get these in two different colorways. I did get one in a dark green and then the other in a dark brown. Now the dark green, it's a size large and the brown is a size medium. This season, they did design these to be a little bit of a looser fit, just so it drapes more on the body. Both the green and the brown do have undertones of gray in it, which makes it very, very wearable just for every day. And then being 100% cotton, these are much more of a matte color than the Arizm tees. Not that the Arizm tees are shiny at all. These are just no noticeably more of a matte color. So the large measurements are roughly 44 centimeters from shoulder to shoulder, or that's like 17 and a half inches. Total length is 71 centimeters or like 28 inches. And the sleeves are 22 centimeters long, which is like eight and a half inches. Now comparing that with the size medium tee, the shoulder to shoulder width is 47 centimeters or 17 inches. So you lose about a half inch in width so the total length is 68 centimeters or 27 inches so it's an inch shorter than the large roughly speaking and then the sleeves are 20 centimeters so it's straight eight inches 
So not too much more terribly small than the large, but it is noticeable. And in hindsight, I probably would have got both of these any size large, just because I like a little bit more of extra room in my teeth, just so it drapes a little bit nicer on the body. And it's a little bit more comfortable. Anyways, here are some outfits that I put together with these. Again, very simple because all these tees are really great basic building blocks to construct an outfit off of. So I kept everything very simple. And with the Arizm tees, I put together very basic like tech wear fits, um, whereas the Supreme Con tees, I put together very basic street row looks. But anyways, here they are. I will go ahead and link all of the t-shirts that I got down below in the description. I do use an affiliate link. It doesn't add anything to the price, but if you do choose to buy one of these t-shirts, I get a very small cut of it. So it's a nice way to support the channel if you wanna pick one of these up. And they do have these in tons of different colors. So whatever fits your taste, they should have it. Anyways, guys, I will see you in a video pretty soon. Thank you for stopping by and thank you for subscribing. I really do appreciate every single one. We're almost at 13,000, which is really insane for me to think about. But anyways, I will see you in a video pretty soon, so.